previously on Game Gengo. Hello everyone and welcome to Game Gengo, the video series where we learn Japanese through video games. In this episode we're going to be going through episode 15 of Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And so Cloud has just escaped all of those guards and now he's jumped onto the train and we'll see where that train takes us. Now in this episode we're going to be learning over 70 new words, so that's a really big one. And we're also going to have a special guest pop in here and there, so please look forward to that. I just got a puppy. and some Sometimes he cries and he wants attention, so he may be likely to join other videos from here on out here and there. Sometimes uh, he will be here and then suddenly he'll be gone. So look forward to that and let's get into the video. Cloud-san, you're not here. You're not here. You're not here. You're not ソルジャーってのはやっぱりただもんじゃない。うん。治安<笑> ロブを着た霧のようなやつだ。それ見えてるし。突然見える。おそらく接触が<笑> マコロ、爆破するなんて迷惑な連中ですね。ああ、公表されていないが、犯人は術中ハック、アバランチだ。昔からうちのプレジデントを付け狙ってた連中ですね。信頼に高るつもりか。おい、適当なことを言うな。ア
Okay, so starting off this episode, we have Wedge wondering where Cloud is, and then Big says, Don't give me that look, I'm sure he's fine. And so Big says, Sonna kao suruna, aitsu wa kito bujisa. So, sonna means that kind, kao is a face, and suru na means don't do, a kind of masculine slang way of saying it. So, sonna kao, that kind of face, don't do it. Don't give me that look. Aitsu wa, so that guy, as for that guy, kito bujisa. So, kito means surely. And then buji, safe, and then sa is just being assertive at the end. So, if we have a quick look at the language that's being used, kao is for face or expression, yatsu is that guy, kito here is to be sure of something. Surely something's true. So, it's kind of about 90% uh, that he's sure. And then buji here is for being safe. Now, in the English translation, he says, no need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. Instead of, don't give me that look, I'm sure he's fine, in the literal translation. So trying to calm Wedge down, he says, did you see the way he moved? Referring to the fact that he's sure he's going to be fine. So, ano mino konashi, mita daro. Ano, that, and then mino konashi here is the movement of the body, kind of like the agility of someone or the way they carry themselves. And then mita daro, you saw it, right? Now, in the game translation, he says, you saw him in action, didn't you? So the, here is an exact literal translation being used, um, just in a more natural way than my literal, which is, did you see the way he moved, which is kind of a bit unnatural and boring. As expected, soldiers are not ordinary people. So, soroja tenowa, now this tenowa is usually used to define something. So, you have the noun and then tenowa, and that means the following part is going to be defining the first thing, soldier. So, he's now defining it and he's saying, yappari, as expected, tada mon janai which is just short for tada mono which just means an ordinary person and janai is not so he's saying that as expected soldiers aren't just ordinary guys now in the game translation he says the guy's a soldier goddamn one man army so here they're kind of getting at the same points they're saying that cloud's very competent and that we don't need to worry about him and you know he's trying to be reassuring of wedge <laughs> So here, Jessie, she's saying that she's pretty much convinced she wants Cloud to join, but she's asking Barrett whether he wants Cloud to join. So she says, mm, honki de sasa wa nai? So, mm, yeah, and then honki de means seriously or for, for real. And then saso here is to invite someone. Invite to what? Invite to the group of Avalanche. So she's asking Barrett, won't you invite Cloud to Avalanche or will you really not? invite Cloud to Avalanche. <laughs> a bit of a flashy intro and so Cloud jumps into the train and they're all kind of you know showing their concern for Cloud, Barrett more so than others and that kind of catches everyone off by surprise so he says Shinpai shita janeka. so you had us all worried and nani shite yagattanda so what the hell were you doing? And so here, it's kind of showing, it's kind of cute scene. Uh, there's no new language, but it's just showing that Barrett was actually concerned for Cloud's well-being, which until this point, he's kind of been like, ugh, whatever. So this is, this is a kind of nice character building moment that's actually present in the original game. So it's nice they kept this little bit in with the whoosh entering into the train. Okay, so the first bit of meaty new language we have here. So he says, public security was crawling around, so I messed around with them. So here we have Chian Iji Butai. So Chian is kind of the public order, right? It means that kind of a peaceful uh, Japan is very Chian, which means it's very peaceful. Chian Eji means the maintenance of the public order. And then Butai is just kind of a force, a unit, a squad. So it's the squad that is maintaining public order. Ga, kara. 
So Urotsuku is to loiter, to kind of hang around, to prowl around, which they were doing. They were searching the streets looking for who did the explosion. So they were kind of lurking around. Urotsuiteru. And then he says, Urotsuiteita. So they had been lurking around. Kara, because. Kaki mawashite yatta. So, kaki mawasu here, uh, it could mean to kind of stir something, but it's also to kind of throw into chaos, right? So, he's getting them to go, ah, ah, right? All the guards kind of in disorder, in chaos. So, here we can see the third meaning of throwing something into chaos to disturb it. So, he was disturbing them. And then this te yaru is an interesting bit of grammar. So, it means the same as te ageru, which means to give something to someone, right? But this is usually used for uh, animate objects, the te ageru, right? For living things, it's like an honorific for giving something to someone. But the te yaru is usually used for inanimate objects or things that are below you in status, right? So it could be, for example, an item, right? You did something for some item. But it can also be used for pets, right? Because they're not your equals, uh, although some people certainly uh, treat them like they are. But that kind of just a little bit inferior. So it's to give or to do to an inferior. So it could actually be to feed a pet instead of like esa o ageru. It could be esa o yaru. And this is just a difference in honorifics, okay? And so here he's saying that he did this to them and he's putting them down in below right he's talking down to them that's why he has the te yaru and another fairly meaty sentence here he says he had to get those guys away from the station so it's showing that he was thinking about the group trying to get the guards away from the station which is quite nice and so cloud says renshu o eki kara hiki hanaseta hazuda so renshu is the group right the company the lot those guys right so those guys renshu o eki kara from the station, eki, and then we have hiki hanasu. So hiku means to pull, and hanasu means to go away, right, to separate. So to pull away, pull away from kara, the station, eki. So he had to pull them away. Now this had to here is hazu. So hazu can be, it's supposed to be something, but here it can also mean to be sure to or ought to that you have to do something or had to so he's saying that he had to get them away from the station ekikara hiki hanaseta hazada yo you okay so nice and easy just like the word <laughs> here jesse says yo you so yo you here means to just have lots of kind of free room to do something right there's no problem it was a cinch Right, so there's two meanings here. You could have a surplus of something, for example, a surplus of ease, right? That wasn't difficult, it didn't take up much of your effort. Or it could also be how easy something is here with composure or calm, right? You do something very calmly, right? It didn't cause you any distress. That's your you. Now, this is often used to show that something was an easy task, right? And you've got plenty of energy to do more. It was your you, it was easy. Right. So here she says nicely done in the game translation. I've kind of translated it as easy peasy. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit of a more natural way of saying it, but it really just means just you have a lot of leeway. It was no problem. So Biggs is trying to convince Barrett to, you know, have Cloud join Avalanche. And so he says, So na here is the masculine ne saying, right. And then tayori ni naru here is to become reliable. Tayori means rely, and then ni naru is to become. So it means that he is someone that is able to become reliable, right? Or just to be reliable. And then daro again means right. So in the literal translation, it's kind of like, see, he's a big help, right? But in the game translation, he says, well, can't argue with the results, huh? So touching on the same points here, saying that, look, Cloud is uh, dependable and he is uh, a big help. So I have one thing that I want to ask you. So one and then kiku means to 
ask. So we've actually seen Kiku previously in a different episode where Barrett says, can't you hear the cries of the planet, Cloud? So, kikoeru, to be able to hear. Here, it actually means at uh, number three, to ask. Okay, so it could be to listen, to hear, or it could also be to ask. So, kikitai koto, something I want to ask. Ga aru. I have. So, I have one thing, hitotsu, one thing I want to ask. This is an interesting sentence, and so Cloud says, Have you ever seen an enemy that you can't see? <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, no, Cloud, no one has ever seen an enemy that you can't see, because you can't see it, so how could you see it? <laughs> um, but anyway, so teki here is an enemy, and then ta koto aru means a time when you have. So we saw previously where koto ga aru means I have a thing, but this ta is the past form of a verb, ta koto aru, or ta koto ga aru, or here ta koto wa aru, this means that there is a time that something has happened, right? An experience that you've had. So he's asking everyone, have you had the experience of mita, seeing, mienai teki, a enemy that you can't see? <laughs> it's quite a strange sentence. Now, in the English version, uh, they clearly have translated this a little bit less strange than the Japanese, where it just says, have you ever been attacked by an invisible enemy. So that's a little bit a uh, more natural way of asking. A guy wearing a robe that kind of looks like fog or mist, right? So, robe wo kita, kiri no yona yatsu da. Robe here is a robe, right? The kind of uh, the reunion looking uh, robed guys. And then we have kiru means to wear. So here you can see that in modern Japanese, it's usually from the shoulders down, right? So if you wear a kind of a t-shirt, that would be kiru. However, there is a different verb for maybe something like a sock. <laughs> but here, kiru is usually from here, kind of clothes to wear. And then kiri is a fog or mist. So fans of Naruto, the anime, might actually be familiar with this kiri. There's actually a group in uh, the story of Naruto called Kiri Gakure no Sato, which means the hidden mist village. Kiri, mist, Gakure or Kakure means to hide, and then Sato is the village, and so the hidden mist village. But Kiri is also a really commonly used word when you're driving and you see the mist in the horizon or whatever, that's Kiri. And then Yona just means similar to or like. So he's saying that it's like mist. He's not saying that they were mist, they were saying they were similar to mist. They looked like mist or fog. So, kiri no yona yatsu. They looked like mist. Now, in the game translation, he says, wearing robes came and went like the wind. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, they kind of did come and go like the wind. Um, but here, they're literally saying that they actually look like a kind of mist enemy. So Polo is joining us. <laughs> um, so next, Cloud says, suddenly I could see it, probably triggered by physical contact. So totsuzen mieru. Totsuzen means suddenly. Mieru, you can see. Oh, I'm sleepy. And then osoraku means probably. Seshoku is the touch, the contact. Seshoku. <laughs> and then kikakeda means the kind of trigger of something, the chance for something to happen. So it was the moment of touch, seshoku, seshoku ga kikake, the trigger of touching that caused it to happen, to be able to see, totsuzen mieru. So the literal translation is suddenly I could see it, probably triggered by physical contact. Hey? <laughs> However, in the game translation, he says that they were at first, referring to being invisible. However, I saw them after she grabbed me. That's a bit strange because they don't know who she is, but that's what he says in the English version. So Jesse asks if it's a new Shinra weapon. So she says Shinra no Shinheki. So Shin means new and then Heki means the weapon that we've seen previously. So Shinheki, a new weapon by Shinra. <laughs> so, huh, you must have been scared and saw a hallucination or something. <laughs> 
So bibiru means to kind of be scared, right? And then genkaku here is illusion. Genkaku demo, so something like an illusion. Mita no daro. So mita means to have seen and no daro means right. Now in the game translation he says, ha, huh, more like a panic induced hallucination. And so this is interesting in the English version, uh, they're actually trying to make Barrett seem like clouds that he has panic attacks. Um, he does have some sort of attack. I don't know if it's panic induced, it might be, but I think it's more just trauma uh, rather than actual panic like anxiety, but we'll see. More. Now Cloud doesn't like that Barrett's making fun of him and he says So I've had enough, I've clearly asked the wrong person. So moi means just drop it, I've had enough, right? And then kiku aite, so we've now learnt that kiku means to ask or to listen. And then kiku aite means the person that he's asked or the person that he's listening from. Aite o machigaita, which means the o is the thing that you made a mistake, machigaeta. So he made a mistake. What did he make a mistake with? Asking this person. Kiku aite o machigaeta. Now in both the English and the literal, uh, he says, never mind or enough. Forget I said anything or I'm talking to the wrong person. Just clearly saying, look, Barrett, uh, yeah, okay, I'm asking the wrong person here. You don't care. Shario <laughs> kaenzo. Shario kaenzo. So shario here is the train car, and then kairu means to change, so we're changing cars or rail cars. Shario, the cars, and then kaenzo, kairu zo, we are changing. Now in the game translation he says, suit yourself, come on, let's move up. Okay, so moving on to the next scene here, we have Barrett entering into the train car, and we've got these Shinra employees kind of complaining about what's going on. So the girl says to do such a thing as blow up a Mako reactor. They're quite a nuisance, aren't they? So Mako o bakuhatsu suru nante, such a thing as blowing up the Mako reactor. Meiwaku na renshu desu ne. So meiwaku means kind of an annoyance, right? A nuisance getting in the way. Na here means that it's an adjective. Meiwaku na, so it's an adjective for renshu. So Annoying Renchu, annoying guys, desne. So she's asking uh, this gentleman for confirmation. Now, in the English translation, she says, What kind of maniacs would go so far as to blow up a reactor? So showing that she thinks that Avalanche are maniacs, where in the Japanese, she just thinks that they're annoying. <sighs> It hasn't been made public yet, but the culprit is in all likelihood avalanche. So kōhyō sarete nai ga. Kōhyō means to be made public, like a public announcement. Sarete nai means has not been done. It's the passive form of suru. So sarete nai ga. But hanin, the criminal wa, as for the criminal. And then here we have an interesting word. So it's jichu haku or juchu haku or juchu haku and this means in eight or nine cases out of ten so in all likelihood so the kanji is literally ten in the middle or out of eight nine <laughs> so eight or nine out of ten that naka is out of kind of in the middle now in the game translation they say they've yet to announce it publicly that's the same. But I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Ah, this is interesting. So for some reason in the English version, people are already saying it was Avalanche doing it. But that's not the case in the Japanese. They're just saying that it's very likely that they're the ones who did it. They're the guys who have been gunning for our president for a long time. So mukashi kara. Mukashi means a long time ago, so mukashi kara, from a long time ago, uchi no prejidento. So uchi means our, right, the inside group, our president. Uchi no prejidento o tsuke naratta. Now we saw this before, a uh, Heidegger actually said it, that tsuke narao means to kind of aim for, to go for. So again, they've done this again. This is the second time they've mentioned in the remake that Avalanche has actually previously attempted to kill the president, which was not the case in the original. So that's really interesting that they're trying to get the player aware of these changes. So in the English version, she says, really? 
Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill our president? Uh, and in the literal, they've been gunning for him for a long time. Shinra ni takaru tsumori ka? Shinra ni takaru tsumori ka? Do they intend to kind of extort Shinra or something? So here is an interesting piece of language. Shinra we all know, but ni takaru. So takaru means lots of different things. It could mean to flock and to gather. It could mean to sponge off someone, right? Sponge off your parents. But it's much more likely to be the third one here to extort. So to take money through intimidation. So he thinks that they're not terrorists. He thinks that Avalanche is actually trying to get something from Shinra. That's why they've blown up their reactor. Maybe they're trying to get money or something. They're trying to extort them. And then this Tsumori, this at the end of the sentence is just used to show intention. So are they intending to extort Shinra? In the English, he just says, is there nothing they won't do? So being quite dramatic, uh, but in both ways, we can see that this character uh, is, doesn't really understand what Avalanche's motives are. So this is an interesting scene already because we've got this kind of comparison before it was just all Avalanche's side, but now we're getting a little bit of Shinra's side, or at least their employees. Hey, <laughs> so Barrett appears behind them and he says, hey, stop speaking out of your ass. <laughs> uh, so that's the game translation, quit talking out of your ass, but that's pretty much what he's saying. He says, oi, hey, tekito na koto yuna. Now, tekito here means kind of just half-minded, careless comments, right? Comments without thinking, right? And so he's saying that what you're saying is just bullshit. <laughs> and so tekito na koto means things that are tekito. Iu na, don't say. So iu means to say. So it could be translated as, hey, stop speaking out of your ass. Uh, or maybe a little bit more literal would be, hey, don't speak like that or don't speak crap like that or don't speak carelessly make careless comments that kind of thing avalanche's purpose is to save the planet so Abadanchi avalanche no mokteki. So here is a new word mokteki. This is your goal. This is your target. So for example, maybe your target is to learn Japanese, right? So that would be your mokteki. Jibun no mokteki wa my purpose or my goal is Nihongo benkyo suru koto. The thing of studying Japanese, perhaps. Uh, here, Avalanche's mokteki, Avalanche's goal or purpose, is saving the planet. Hoshi o suku. Then Daro is just saying, right? In the English translation, he says, everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. So here, Barrett is very clearly pro-Avalanche, of course. However, this is a very interesting scene. We've never had this direct contrast before, so it's very interesting. <laughs> Who the hell are you? Nananda Kimiwa. So, nananda is what in the world or what the heck? Nananda. And then, kimiwa, you are, as for you. So, kimi here is a kind of, here it says male or familiar way of saying you, buddy, pal. Oi, kimi. Hey, you. Hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Now, in Japanese, it's a little bit difficult to figure out how to use these. Kimi is actually a little bit rude. You wouldn't go up to people, strangers in the streets and say, Oi, Kimi. <laughs> hey, buddy. It's a little bit rude. Now, sometimes when language can be rude, it can also be casual. And so you might be able to use it with your friends here, fam, familiar, or uh, being a little bit rude. But generally in Japanese, people tend to avoid using these kimi anata because it's, it is a little bit rude. Uh, people generally address each other by their own names. So it shows you know who you're talking to and that you respect them enough to remember their name. It's just a much more polite way of addressing someone instead of you. So usually people avoid this, but in video games and in anime, uh, it's really not that big of a deal. And it's, it's still used sometimes uh, in real context, but usually people use names to be polite. I'm a virtuous citizen who thinks of the planet. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Hoshio omo, thinking of the planet. And then we have zenryo na shiminyo. So zenryo, zen, 
This is actually the kanji for Zen and it means everything, total, complete. So complete ryo is actually good, like i or yoi. So Zen ryo means complete goodness. So that is goodness, excellence, or virtue, to be virtuous. And then Shimin is a citizen. So he's saying that I'm just a, a good citizen. Now in the game, they decided to say instead a law-abiding citizen, which that is what a good citizen is, right? A law-abiding citizen. And so that's what he says. No, he's not really law-abiding, technically. <laughs> uh, so, you know, maybe uh, English has taken some liberties, but they're saying really the same thing. <laughs> You'll be punched. So, nagurareru is the passive form of naguru. So, to punch, naguru. And then nagurareru means to be punched, this passive language. So, you will be punched. So, shh, don't say anything. Now, in the English version, he says, don't antagonize him, which is the same thing, right? Um, they're just making Barrett a little bit less <laughs> aggressive by just saying, don't piss him off, rather than he's actually going to punch you. Ooh, this is an interesting difference. So he says that explosion was obviously a warning to the bad guys. As for that explosion, to the bad guys or to the villains, no kekoku, so a warning, ni kimateru janeka. So ni kimaru means that it is decided that something is the case. So kekoku ni kimateru means it's obvious that it's a warning. And then janeka is just saying, right? So he says that it's obvious that it was a warning, right? But in the game translation, he says, in my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. In my humble opinion, that is a weird thing for Barrett to say. In my humble opinion, I can't imagine Barrett ever saying that. Barrett was the guy that would just be like, Fuck! <laughs> swearing his ass off. In my humble opinion. Okay, a little bit strange decision there. <laughs> to the evil doers who exploit the planet for their own gain. So the message. So, Hoshi no Inochi, the life of the planet. Or, and then here we have a new word, sakushu. So sakushu here is to bleed dry, to exploit, to milk, to extract. So extracting from the planet, right? Bleeding the planet dry. Akuto e no yo. So akuto, the bad guys, and then e means to. And then no yo, he's just explaining. So he's saying that clearly it's a warning to akuto, the bad guys, akuto e no yo. And what kind of message? So it's clearly a warning. Keikoku ni kimateru. And who too? Here it's very clear. Hoshi no inochi wo sakushu suru akuto e. To the bad guys who are extracting the life of the planet. Akuto no namae wa... As for the names of these villains, you guys know very well. So, Akuto no Namae, the name of the villain, wa, as for, Temera. Now, that's a very rude way of saying you guys. So, Temera. Yoku shiteru yo na. So, you know very well. Yoku. Very well. Shiteru. You know. Yo na. Don't you? Now, in the game translation, he says, Think they got it? Loud and clear? Y'all's masters? <laughs> so, here, yeah, okay, he's saying the same thing. That he says, I know who you are, I know it's your bosses, and they're the ones this message is for. Right? The bad guys. So in a way, Barrett's actually being quite defensive here. Um, he's being like, hey, I'm not the bad guys. Your masters are the bad guys. <laughs> But no, they don't agree. They say, we will not yield to violence. <laughs> this is actually a pretty interesting piece of language here. So here, this man says, atashi. Now, atashi is the feminine way of saying me, right? So you have watashi, that's quite formal and polite, anyone can use. But then you have atashi, which is a little bit more casual for a girl. But here, he's actually using it, atashi ra, 
So I'm not entirely sure why he's doing this, perhaps he's wanting to sound a little bit feminine, maybe that's his personality, or perhaps he's kind of in a little bit of a cowering position, that's why he's using it, I actually don't know. So just a quick little late night edit, I've had actually a little bit more of a look into this and it doesn't make any sense why he's using Atashi. So if we have a look at the original script for Final Fantasy VII, we can see here that he actually uses Watashi, and he stutters because he's intimidated by Barrett. So this scene here could actually be either a mistake on the subtitles part, or it could actually be a mistake in the script itself, and they've cut off the first part of the voice actor's line. Now we don't actually know which one it is, and it's impossible to tell, however this use of Atashi is very strange in this context, and especially considering that they've used Watashi in the original game, it leads me to believe that this may be a mistake. But here that's what he's using, he's saying Atashi da, the feminine way of saying us, and then Boryoku nanka, such things as Boryoku, violence, ni kushinai. So we saw Cloud say this before that he will not yield, so this ni kushinai again means that he will not yield to boryoku nanka, things like violence. No matter what happens, I will live my life the same way I always have. Nani ga atte mo, so no matter what happens, nani, what, and then ga atte mo, even if it happens, no matter what happens, kawaranai nichijo. Kawaranai means it does not change, it's constant, and then nichijo is your everyday, your normal life. O okute yaru, which means I will live my life the same way I always have. Now, the interesting part here is te yaru. So he is actually kind of looking down at Barrett saying, I will continue to live the way I always have, I won't change it for you. So he's saying that I'll always live this way for you. <laughs> this is the way we fight as Shinra employees. Korega, this is Shinra, Shine. So Shine is a new word, and this means a company employee. Now, this is a very, very common word in Japan. Uh, if you work for a company, you become a Shine. If you are a full employee, that you're actually for the company that you're signed in officially, then you are a Sei Shine, an official employee. So Shine, a very common word. No tatakai kata da. Tatakai means to fight, the battle, the struggle, tatakai, and then kata here is the way of. So you will often see this kata after a verb, and this means the way of doing the verb. So hanashi kata, the way of talking. Um, benkyo shi kata, the way of studying. Tatakai kata, the way of fighting. And so the meaning here is the third definition, the way of, or the method of. <laughs> no objections, igi nashi. So this is an interesting bit of language here. So igi means object, so you might see in a law room, and nashi means without. So without objection. However, if you are familiar with the Ace Attorney game series, where you're in a law room, you may be aware of the character's catchphrase, igi ari! So that means objection! This is actually uh, some language used there in the courtroom, wherever the main character has an objection, where he says, OBJECTION! He actually says, IGI ARI! I have an objection. IGI, objection, ARI, have. But here it's IGI NASHI. Now if you're a fan of the Ace Attorney series, uh, there's actually a fairly decent series on YouTube by a channel called Game Grammar, where this guy goes through uh, video games like Ace Attorney, Pokemon, and Nino Kuni, and he plays through them at real time, and you can see him going through trying to translate it. So that's kind of interesting if you're into that thing. <laughs> this is the spirit of Shinra! Korezo! This is Shinra Damashi. So Shinra Tamashi or Shinra Damashi means the soul of Shinra, the spirit of Shinra. So this Tamashi is the spirit, the soul. Now in the English version they've said that is the Shinra Creed. So this is an interesting English translation where the translator decided to use the word creed instead of the spirit. Now in Japanese it's quite common to say the spirit of something, but in the English version they've kind of gone a more 
religious way where creed is actually someone's kind of doctrine their religious doctrine what they believe in their heart it's kind of a religion so here kind of making shinra a little bit more of a religion <laughs> so is that the best you can do ipai means when you have a glass and it's full right ipai ipai means you're just so full of it right you have so much of it so here uh, it could be to the limit but it could also be kind of the best one can do right it's at the very limit ipai ipai aren't you just you know at the limits but in the english version he actually says hmm, them's fighting words so yeah okay he is kind of kind of standing up for himself and says we won't give in to you we are shinra we are proud <laughs> so yeah interesting Always living to the fullest. Itsu date, so always, itsu demo, itsu date, always, seipai. Now seipai means the best you can do, the most you can do. Seipai, ikiteru. I am living. I am always living to the best of my ability. Itsu date, seipai ikiteru. But in the English version, he says, we all have to follow our conscience, don't we? So that's a really interesting interaction where we actually kind of see more of a face of Shinra, the normal employee's face, that we didn't really get to see in the original. Now this is actually a really interesting scene because we get to see the face of Shinra. We actually get to see kind of what the employees are like. We didn't really get to see that in the original where it was just Avalanche of the good guys and it was just accepted. And so next Barrett says, What's this spirit of Shinra? Kudarane, nani ga Shinra damashida? So kudaranai means it's just trivial, it's nothing, it's meaningless, it's in in insignificant. What they're just saying doesn't mean anything. And then nani ga Shinra damashi? What is the Shinra's spirit? And then a little bit of sulking, he's like, I'm not the one in the wrong. But in the English, he says, we're the good guys, damn it. Now, this is actually a really interesting scene because we're seeing this kind of contrast between the good guys and the bad guys. In the original, it was very clear, right? Avalanche were the good guys, no questions asked. But there are many more questions being asked here in also the actions and the consequences of Avalanche, but also here actually seeing a face, a human face of the Shinra employees kind of standing up for themselves saying, we are just doing the best we can. Okay, so onto the review for this episode. So we have Carl. The face, Kao, Aitsu, that guy, Aitsu, Kito, surely, Kito, Buji, safe, Buji, Mino Konashi, so the movement of someone, Mino Konashi, Tenoa, which means as for, Tenoa, Tada Mono, an ordinary person, Tada Mono, Honki de, seriously, Honki de, Saso, so to invite or to ask, Saso, Chian Iji, so the maintenance of public order. Chian iji. Butai. The force or the squad. Butai. Urotsuku. So to loiter, to wander around. Urotsuku. Kaki mawasu. So here it's to stir around or to kind of throw into confusion. Kaki mawasu. Te yaru. So to do something to or for an inferior. Te yaru. Renshu. So the company or the group or those guys. Renshu. Eki. The station. Eki, hiki hanasu. So here it's to pull away or to get someone away from something. Hiki hanasu. Hazu, to expect or you should. Hazuda. Yoyu. So here it's to have lots of free space for something. It was easy. Yoyu. Tayori ni naru. So here it's to be reliable. Tayori ni naru. Hitotsu. One thing. Hitotsu. Teki, the enemy. Teki. Ta koto aru. There is a time that you have an experience. Ta koto aru. Robe. So here it's the robe. Robe. Kiru. So to wear the robe. Kiru. Kiri. So the mist. Kiri. Yona. So seeming like or looking like. Yona. Totsuzen. So suddenly. Totsuzen. Osoraku. So probably. Osoraku. Seshoku. So the touch. The touch. Seshoku. Kikkake. So here the chance or the trigger of something. Kikkake. Shinheiki. A new weapon or arms. Shinheiki. Bibiru. So to be scared. Bibiru. Moi. 
That's enough. もういい。間違える。To make a mistake. 間違える。車両。So the train carriage. 車両。変える。So to change something. 変える。迷惑。So an annoyance, a trouble. 迷惑。好評。So a public announcement. 好評。犯人。The criminal, the culprit. 犯人。実注白。So, in eight or nine cases out of ten, so in all likeliness. Mukashi. Long time ago. Mukashi. Tsuke narao. So, to prowl after. Tsuke narao. Takaru. So, remember to sponge, to gather, or to extort. Takaru. Tsumori. Your intentions. Tsumori. Tekito. So, kind of irresponsible, half assed comments. Tekito na koto. Iu. To say. Can also be just you instead of iu. To say. Mokteki. So your goal or your purpose. Mokteki. Nananda. What in the world? Nananda. Kimi. So you, buddy, pal. Kimi. Zenryo. So complete goodness. Virtue. Zenryo. Shimin. So here it's the citizen. Shimin. Naguru. <laughs> sort of punch. Naguru. Akto. So the bad guys, the villains, the scoundrels. Akto. Kimaru. To be decided. So, kimeru is to decide, kimaru is to be decided. Sakushu suru. So, sakushu means to bleed the planet dry, to bleed dry, to squeeze dry. Sakushu. Atashi. So, me or I in a feminine way. Atashi. Boryoku. So, violence. Boryoku. Kawaranai. Does not change, it's constant. Kawaranai. Nichijo. So, your daily life. Nichijo. Shain. So, the company employee. Sha in company employee shine. Tatakai. So the battle. Tatakai. Kata. The way of doing something. Tatakai kata. The way of fighting. Igi. So the objection. Igi ari. Igi nashi. Nashi. Without. Korezo. This. Korezo. Korezo. Tamashi. The soul or the spirit. Tamashi. Ippai ippai. So, just to the limit, completely full. Ippai, ippai. Itsu date. So, any time, always. Itsu date. Sei ippai. So, to the best of one's ability. Sei ippai. Ikiru. So, to live. Ikiru. Kudaranai. So, useless, trifling, something you don't care about. Ah, kudaranai. Okay, so that's it for the review. Half puppy, half no puppy. Let's get into the quiz. そんな顔するなあいつはきっと無事さ突然見えるおそらく接触がきっかけだ。相手を間違えた<笑>公表されていないが犯人は十中八九アオランチだ。にたかるつもりか。アバランチの目的は星を救うだ。善良な市民
何があっても変わらない日常を送ってやる精一杯生きてる Congratulations, you have now finished episode 15 of Game Gango for Final Fantasy VII Remake. So now we have learnt over 600 words, actually getting quite close to 700 all of a sudden. This was a big episode, so good job, everyone.、Uh, Otsukare sama, thank you for all your hard work. I hope you enjoyed the little addition to in this episode.、Uh, my puppy, I just recently got him, so、uh, in the last week or so, so it's kind of still getting used to the house, but he's a very lovely dog, so I hope you enjoyed、uh, his small little presence. Hopefully, it wasn't too distracting. Thank you very much for enjoying and watching the video. A huge thank you to the Patreon supporters as always. Thank you so much. So, if you like this kind of video, please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, the bell, share the video if you want others to see it, and I'll see you again next time. Thank you very much. See ya.